So I've been messing around with the Ender 3. I put a new board in it. The old one just wore out on me, I think. It had over 1,500 hours, I'm pretty sure. Uh, I printed many weeks, 24-7. Once the G-code got over here and homed, and the program would start, it would just lock up, and you'd have to turn the thing off and restart it again. And the only thing I could figure was the board was bad, and I got this board for $64.99. I'm not going to go into details on installing it. It's pretty straightforward. You just have one more extra plug for the touchscreen, and the... Uh, I'm pretty sure the fans are backwards, um, but there's a lot of YouTube videos on how to put that in there. Um, I was looking for a cheap alternative, but there's so many extra options. This has extra outputs on it, too, so I don't know if I'll ever use that, but maybe for like a, a, a limit switch for when I run out of, run out of filament or a, a filament switch, so when I run out of filament, it shuts itself off. That'd be kind of nice. I know you could have done that on the regular one, probably. But uh, this has a little more tunability, too. So if you want to run it in Marlin mode, it's just like a regular one for the most part. Um, if you go to the menus, pretty much the same. Uh, I did notice that you have to run it in Marlin mode if you want to run this front SD card slot. But if you want to run the two extra ones this one has... Uh, you have to go to the other mode. So, this will be like normal. You just hold down the touch screen, and then it goes to this menu. And go to Big Tree Tech. And then it goes to a whole nother... Uh, a whole nother... Operating system face. And... I know it's not straight in here. I tried straightening the best I could, and that's as close as I get it to square. It's, uh, China. <laughs> so, just hold print, and then you got your TFT disk and your U disk. And I'm pretty sure you can print from either one of these. I haven't tried yet, so uh, bear with me here. We'll just pick the U disk. And. And preheating. Okay, so this is pretty cool. Got a feature. It's got a bunch of miscellaneous stuff. I'm not sure what it does. And uh, rotary knob. You can enable this for the touchscreen mode. And change the color of it. Cool. It's hard to get a good example of how quiet this is because the CR10 is running next to it. And it, it still has the stock board. So, I definitely think the CR10 is more reliable than the Inner 3 now because uh, I've had it longer and it probably has more hours on it. So, and it's still going. I'm really surprised it's had a little more out, but that's just the way it is. So, I'm also going to show you after this is going, you can go back to the other view if you want to by just holding it once again. Maybe you can't. It does have a lot of options. Huh. Well, I know you can go back to this view from the Marlin mode if you want to by just holding it. So I was having issues with spaced out prints, and you can see this one is after the fix, and it is very solid. And this one here is pretty spacey. 
definitely not something you want on a boat. So I got rid of my old extruder and got this new one. Um, the cool thing about this is it has a gear on the bottom of the, uh, well, where you would normally have the knurled gear on the shaft of the servo. Now it has a knurled gear that's got a, a nice little U-shape cut in it. And uh, it has gear on the bottom of it that turns this other one, so it's getting it from both sides now. Man, it's making some nice prints. I'm printing the uh, transfer case now for uh, RC Monster Truck I'm printing. And this is going to be the uh, front piece of the body. So far, I've gotten all of this printed for it so far. The frame, the wheels, these really awesome axles. And I've still got to print the gears for these, the hubs, a whole bunch of stuff. And then I've got the tires printed too, at least three out of four. They came out really nice. Uh, this is TPU, a soft material. And they're not perfect, but man, they look pretty good for, these are my best tires I think I've printed. They look really good. Uh, the sidewall I could have made a little thicker, but I think this new extruder is going to fix some of that. Here's another good example of the spacey prints. Let me get this to focus. Yeah, it's a rudder for the boat. A lot of times the extruder will, the extruder will make noises like it's uh, snapping, and it's the filament skipping on the neural that's pushing it through the filament tube. And when that happens, it misses spots like this because the filament's jerking like that instead of going continuously smooth. Stay tuned for more. New print. Very clean. Very clean. Check out the... Can I get that? No, I can't hold still enough. Printing the cab currently. This filament doesn't print that great. It's crazy this thing is so quiet. Me talking? Me talking. <laughs>